Now, let us know about the road transport system. In the transport, we already divided that the most important one is road transport. When it comes to road transport, India is one of the countries which is having largest road transport system because India has nearly 2.3 million kilometers of road transport, good roads which are available and very good convenient for transport system. When in comparison with the road and rail, we have a very good positive advantage for roads than for rail because in order to make a rail track, you need to make it with iron which is very costly but in order to make road it is not so costly so comparatively making a road is very convenient and very less cost when compared to laying a railway track that is the first major advantage what we have the second major advantage what we have is it can traverse more you can have ups and downs you can have curves you can make the vehicles to rotate and you can have a good direction changes also according to your convenience and according to the land topographic changes what are present. But when it comes to rail, you cannot make the rail to go up and down because when a rail moves up and down, it automatically slips off. So it's very, very difficult to maintain such kind of transport or traverse directions or any changes in the track routes because it should go straight. It cannot turn uh, regularly. It has to be turned at a certain angles. Whereas road, we can have various number of direction changes, turns, we can go fast, we can reduce the speed very easily. Whereas rail connectivity and all, it's very difficult. And moving to provide door to door services. Rail, we cannot provide road to door services. By road, you can connect every corner of India at less and affordable cost, covering all the regions as much as possible. That is the door to door coverage. And also loading and unloading of the things is very very less cost when it is compared to the products what we have in our rail transport for rail you need to go to a particular spot you need to do it and you need to get it but when it comes to road you can get the vehicle to your own place you can load it and you can also unload it to your own favorite place or destination what you require and also when it comes to have a link road network acts as a link from the house destination to a rail network, a railway station, an airport or any water port or seaport, we need to have a good road transport system. So there are certain advantages for the road transport system. First, the cost is very, very less when compared to railways. We can have traverse or changes in the directions where we travel. We can provide door to door services. We can have loading and unloading at very less cost. At the same time, we can also have a link to the rail, air or water destination points like railway station, airport and seaport so that we can travel to that particular direction by using road. That is the important thing. And then coming to the golden quadrilateral. The golden quadrilateral is the massive project which was started by the government of BJP which was headed by Atal Bihari Vajpayee in 1999 period where he initiated this process of connecting north and south east and west where the traveling distance of time has to be reduced and we can have good connectivity between the mega cities and the other cities so he started the golden quadrilateral connecting north and south from delhi to chennai via we have a road coming from delhi to mumbai mumbai to chennai and mumbai to chennai well as chennai to we also have Kolkata, Kolkata again connecting it to Delhi. So all the four mega metropolitan cities are connected using this quadrilateral which is run by the National Highway Authority of India, NHAI, which is a six laner. It is a six laner and it has a good connectivity and this is controlled by the government of India, Union Government of India, which was a very good step. And after this golden quadrilateral, we also have many national highways. The national highways are the highways which are connecting the state capitals to the national capital. Like for example, from Hyderabad, you can connect it to Delhi. The road which connects Hyderabad to Delhi is called a national highway. When we talked about the golden quadrilateral, you may get a doubt that Delhi and Mumbai, they are both are getting connected. Yes, but it is a part of connecting the four mega cities. 
but here we are discussing about all the other states capitals getting connected with the national capital there only four mega cities are connected here all the other cities are also connected to the national capital that's why it is having national highways authority and these are maintained by the central public works department the cpwb cpwd and this also connects the north and south east and west the first and the historically famous road is the Sher Shah Suri Marg, which was laid from Delhi to Amritsar. This is the first national highway or the number one first. It is not in terms of area or it's not in terms of something else. It is according to the ranking on the list of the national highways. The first rank has been given to the Sher Shah Suri Marg, which is connecting Delhi to Amritsar. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.